In a recent project, I used the table saw to make molding, and I got a lot of questions about that. And I, I think it, it's a very convenient thing to be able to do because sometimes you just don't need a long piece of molding, and often it just saves you a lot of time. You don't have to get in the car and go to the lumber yard when you may only need a small piece of molding. So these are the cutting heads that I have, and I've had these for probably over 20 years. This one, jeez. Well, it's okay. This one I bought at Sears. I don't know if you can buy them at Sears any longer, but if you Google table saw molding heads, uh, something will come up. I did a Google search before I started shooting this video. This was given to me by my old boss at The Woodworker, and it still works great. And so basically, you are able to change the blades, which change the profile of the molding. The blade is removed or changed with an Allen wrench and then you can simply change the profile of the molding by changing the blade and this is a bullnose blade. And then you would change the other two blades and you would be ready to make molding. I don't need any bullnose molding so I'm just going to put the cove molding blade back. I do need to make a little bead molding though, so I'm going to put the other cutting head in the saw and make a little bead molding. This cutting head uses a spacer, the other one I have doesn't. So the spacer goes on first, then the head. and the washer, and finally the nut. You'll also need to make a zero clearance insert for your table saw, and I put the edge of the fence over the insert. You, you wanna make sure that you don't put the fence over where the blade's going to come out of the insert, so just maybe a half of an inch in. And then I turn the saw on and slowly raise the blade. I'm gonna clamp a piece of scrap wood onto the fence just to be on the safe side. Well, I know that I've made bead molding in other videos, but this is the molding that I'll need for an upcoming project, so I thought I'd make more bead molding. And it's basically the same, the, the same steps for all of your molding when you're making it with the table saw. You cut the profile into the wood with the cutting head, and then you change back to your table saw blade and cut the molding out of the profile. I don't know if that makes sense, but it will make sense. Uh, so let's go ahead and just get to work. The first step is to align the profile on your wood or what will be your molding. And then I make a shallow pass and slowly raise the blade until I get to the correct height. Now this looks pretty good and then I'll run the molding through on both sides meaning I'll get a piece of molding here and here and also on the other side of the board. So this board will give me four pieces of molding. Now that I've finished cutting the profile in the molding, I'll remove the cutting head and replace it with the table saw blade. I'm making this bead molding for a face frame. It will picture frame the inside of the face frame and I want the bead molding to be flush with the back of the face frame. 
I'm using three quarter inch material for the face frame. So I'll trace a line here and take a measurement from the nose of the bead molding to the line and set my fence at this mark and that's where I'll make the rip. And the last step for this molding is to set the fence at 5 16 of an inch and rip the molding in half. Well, that didn't take too long, and I made probably close to 50 feet of molding. And this is a very unique piece of molding. It's one that uh, I don't think you can find at most lumber yards. I know a lot of people have contacted me over the years asking me where they could possibly get this, and I've always made it. So that's kind of a nice freedom you get. When you start to make your own molding, you can change things up, and uh, it, it gives you kind of a maybe a more authentic look to some of your furniture. So if you want to get one of these, uh, if you don't know too much about them, just Google um, table saw molding heads and a, a bunch of stuff will come up and look, I'm sure there's more videos on how to make molding and it's, it's kind of a nice thing because it, I, I always try to avoid going to the lumber yard. I always feel like time out of the shop is downtime and you're always spending money. So not only are you losing time to go and go there and back, but you have to pay for the molding. So if you can make some molding out of scrap wood, that's a plus. Now, uh, I wanted to thank everybody. This is kind of cool. I was in a commercial in the Netherlands. So I got an email uh, maybe two days ago from, from a bunch of you guys out there saying, hey, John, I know that, I hope you know that you're in a commercial and I hope they got your permission and did you know about this? And uh, yeah, I did know about it and they did get my permission and I did get paid a little bit for, not very much, but I felt that it was worth it because I didn't have to do anything. They just used... A video that I had already made and it's it's kind of cool actually because it's a guy he's he's working in his shop and he keeps referring to his iPad and there I am in the iPad uh, working away so that was um, that was kind of a neat thing and I, I want to thank everybody for giving me a heads up about that because I didn't know it had come out until I got the emails now uh, also I've gotten a couple of stickers in the last week or two so I'm going to end this video by putting stickers on the the fan door, so stick around for that. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you soon.